February 26th, Monday morning. Um, I think it's like 55 days until the marathon. Something crazy like that. Um, so my goal for the week, and that you're coming along for, okay, is for me to... Okay, I'm basically <laughs> struggling with this idea. I, I recently learned about this theory called the four burners theory. Basically, what are the four big things in your life? Mine are relationships, training, social media, and work at the moment. They change throughout your life, obviously. Basically, the theory goes, in order to be successful, you need one of your burners to like fizzle out for a little bit, like while you're focusing on the other things. To be super successful, you need two of your burners to fizzle out. And I am sick of this being true. Like, obviously my social, or my training, like I'm getting every run done. Like that's what I call a success, like getting things done, you know? Um, but like my, nine to five job like I kind of work for myself like with my family business like I am my own boss it's suffering like it's taking me so long to get things done it's really annoying me guys it's really irritating me like I have deadlines and I'm just kind of dragging them out as long as I can and I'm just being foolish so that's my goal for the week just kind of go against this theory because I don't I don't like it and um, just try get on top of things. I just don't feel on top of things. And I know you're probably like, Selena, you're, you are doing a lot, babes. I got a lot of DMs like that, like, please go easy on yourself. And I know, but I also can't let some things slip in my life. Like they're very important. So yeah, I also just want to like get my supplements in. I want to prioritize my water more because I like, my goal is three liters a day, but then I'm leaving most of that water until like 10 p.m. at night and then I'm downing water. And it's just, that's not good for you either. And I want to get my runs done earlier in the day instead of leaving them until the night time and then I have to run on the treadmill. So my run is happening at lunch today. I'm also going to Lisbon on Wednesday, which kind of throws a spanner into everything, but that's gonna make my relationships burner burn brighter because I'm going with my mom. Um, gonna go on some runs and yeah it'll be a fun week i just want to get on top of everything so come along with me this is one of my favorite breakfasts like for years so it's literally just avocado toast and then spring onion salt pepper garlic and then these are it's called a seitan sausage it's by a brand called panks plants honestly it's so good Guys, ever since I got my hair dyed in like December or whatever, like I got balayage, it's so frizzy. It's just like so, so frizzy. I can't do anything about it. But anyway, ignore. This is the face of a girl who did not run on her lunch break and now has to run on the treadmill. This is also the face of a very overwhelmed girl. I got so overwhelmed today. And I didn't get the thing I needed to get done done, but I got everything else done. Why are we like that? Why do we do all the things we don't need to do? Well, they needed to be done too, but like the priority did not get done. And now I have to run on the treadmill. At least it's only 7k, guys. Turning it around, turning it on its head. We can do hard things and the treadmill is hard. <laughs> To be honest, I'm unsure if this is reassuring or scary to hear, but running does not get easier. I just struggled my little booty off doing an eight, pretty much an eight per, eight minute per kilometer pace on the treadmill for a 7k. I just struggled my booty off. And I've been on this journey, beginner to marathon journey for over 200 days. But the hard times make you so resilient and so proud of yourself when you actually finish the thing. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, 
it doesn't get easier. You just feel more like you can do it every day because you've proven to yourself so many times before that you can. And that's the power of consistency. Good morning from my bedhead part two. It's Tuesday morning. I think it's 54 days until the marathon. The London marathon. Which, by the way, I'm so excited about. I know I like moan about my runs on the daily, but like I cannot wait until the marathon day. I don't know if I've told you guys, but like my parents are flying over. My brother's flying over. My boyfriend lives in London, so he'll obviously be there. My, how many of my friends, a bunch of my friends are flying over, but how many of them are going to be there? Two, four, six, like six or seven. And then Jenny and Emily will be there. Possibly a few other like Instagram girls. I am going to just be sobbing the whole day and I can't wait. Anyway, that's off topic. Yes, I have so much to do today, but that's all right. I just have to get it done. I just have to get it done, Selena. That's all it is. You just have to do it. That's all it is. And I also obviously have to work. And yeah. Also, guys, do you see this spot here that isn't even that big? A man on Instagram the other day had the audacity it made me laugh to be fair. I sent it to the girls, but like it did make me laugh. But oh my God, he said, can I please cover it up with either makeup, band-aids or stitches and that it's so big that he can track it via my GPS. That made me feel so pretty. And then that was right after him commenting on one of my Strava activities, asking me why he couldn't see my map. I'm like, why do you wanna know? where i am so he got blocked he got blocked on strava i've never blocked anyone on strava before but yeah. anyway anyway moving on i also have a 10k i think like tempo run to do today so like speed work i think it's the one i was meant to do last week but i didn't no not that i didn't do it i swapped it out for one of the runs I was meant to do this week so one of the runs I was meant to do this week I did last week because it was shorter and easier and then I'm having to do last week's missed run this week which is the one today but guys just gotta get it done and then starting tomorrow I have such a big run week oh my god I think my shortest run is like 12k don't quote me on that but something like that and and yeah I just feel stressed out guys, honestly. I need to get on top of everything today. I need to smash through my to-do list. I need to work, I need to get my run done. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, I I've got this. Okay, first agenda of the day is to make some food because that's the most important part of the day. I'm just gonna have the exact same thing as I had yesterday. Avo toast. Catch up later. Yummy, 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 meal time. Okay, guys, I've made a start on my packing. Um, I'm only going for three days and I feel like this might be excessive because I have more stuff to bring. I also have no bed sheet on because they're in the wash. That's one of the things on my to-do list today. But yeah, I have like a pile of like dresses and skirts. So many tops. Guys, I'm going for three days, but I'm a sweater. I am a sweater, like I go through stuff, so like jeans, like lighter pants, and then I have to go on two runs. So it's not going to be hot in Lisbon, but it's going to be like a bit warm. So I'm bringing leggings and then just like sports bras, my shoes, which take up so much room, and then my Birkenstocks, my normal shoes, a couple of like jumpers. Guys, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's excessive, especially because I still need to bring more. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that burn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, when I'm working from home, all I do is work, eat, drink. So enjoy that mundane content. Unsure if my food looks good or like absolutely horrible. You guys can tell me. This is three hash browns with smoked tofu. Asparagus mushrooms, nutritional yeast, and spring onion. Delicious in my opinion. No, 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 no. This has been like the most stressful day. 
Guys, do you know what I'm dealing with right now? Like, so I just smashed through my to-do list. I still have so much more to do and I still have my 10K to run. But I've just realized like how much stuff that I, <laughs> it's like I've done the to-do to list. So I, again, I haven't done it, I haven't finished it, but like I've done a lot of it. Usually that would make you feel good, relieved, whatever, but it's actually made me realize how much I've been neglecting and how much I need to keep up on and how I can't actually handle it. <laughs> I feel like I need I don't know like oh my god guys I'm so overwhelmed I feel like I shouldn't do this run tonight to be honest and that's not me being lazy it's actually me putting myself first I think but I'm I am gonna do it like I don't know if that's a good thing to do I don't know if I should do it to be honest it might be good to clear my head Again, it's all amazing things. I'm so blessed. I know I could have so much more on my plate. I know, like, do you know what I mean? I, I, disclaimer, <laughs> I'm not trying to say like, oh my God, I'm a so pretty. Like, I'm not trying to be that annoying person, but just today I'm really like, it's making me anxious. Um, but yeah, at least I got through a lot of it. Anyway, since this will be going off on Sunday, <laughs> after me moaning about things, if you want to come to any one of my three run clubs next week um to be confirmed i think runner's high is on wednesday this coming wednesday so this will be up on sunday this coming wednesday like three days um runner's high london go over to the instagram and just check for location and everything because i don't even have it planned yet it'll probably be clapham in the evening and then the thursday morning at 7 a.m is the A6 event on Oxford Street, um, seven till nine, but the tickets are already nearly sold out. They went up um, 13 minutes ago. They're probably sold out, which is absolutely amazing again. Like, it's so amazing. I'm so lucky. <sighs> anyway, and then I have the Pure Sport event on Friday. I need to make dinner. I need to go for my run. I need to pack. If I get those three things done, guys, We'll have to have a little celebration later. Okay, not very aesthetic, but bon appetito. I love how you can see the teddies in the background. I'll forever be a teddy girl, sorry. Um, but guys, I'm not doing my 10K today. Mm -mm. I was talking to my coach and my mom. They both said, at the end of the day, not doing my 10K literally won't affect my training whatsoever. I know I can do a 10K. It'd be different if I was like not doing my long run or something. But what will affect me is burning out. So not happening today but that's fine that's fine um i'm gonna pack tan change my bed sheets and edit and then call it a day literally the most boring day to be vlog to be vlogging but what you see is what you get with me so it's not glamorous over here guys but the rest of the week will be a bit more exciting so i'll see you tomorrow for a much brighter day literally because i'll be in lisbon and there'll be hopefully blue skies so yeah, good morning. It is 53 days until the marathon, Wednesday morning. Off to Lisbon today. Have to wash my tan off, I'm not going to Lisbon yet. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling so much better this morning, so much more calm. I got so much done yesterday and it's finally hitting me okay. Selena, well done. You did the things you needed to do and you'll be able to keep on top of them I need to just go easy on myself um but yeah that's basically all just wanted to let you know I'm feeling better and yeah my flight's only in a few hours so I do need to kind of get a move on but yeah chat to you later three days I repeat three days since 6 30 
because we just got so tired. We had wine and I think it just wiped us out. Um, but it was so nice. The weather is like perfect here. I have a run tomorrow of a 12K, I think. And it's like perfect running weather. It's bright blue skies and it's like 15 Celsius. Beautiful. Um, and yeah, we just went for a walk today and we went to just along the water. I mean, like when the sun was setting, we were like, oh my God, I totally forgot that it's not summer. Like we felt like we were on our summer holidays. Um, even though it's not hot, but it just was like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> we're still in the midst of winter. Um, but yeah, so lovely. And then we went to Time Out Market. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's like this big food market. It's like iconic in Lisbon. I think so anyway. We got like croquettes, bao buns, chicken skewers, burger. We like shared everything, like a veggie burger. Um, tempura, veg, different cuisines. And yeah, just went for a walk. It was gorgeous. Um, and then we came back and just rested. It's so funny the difference between today and yesterday. Like yesterday I was chaotic in my kitchen at home. And now I'm like, ah bliss <laughs> um but yeah I actually got my mom this trip for Christmas because I just love my family and I want to give back where I can you know um and we were meant to go in January but it got pushed back so here we are um yeah also the quality of this clip is just terrible but you're just on my FaceTime camera to be honest um because we're friends we're just chatting just chit chat chatting away but yeah that is a wrap on my 53 t minus 53 days to the marathon day <laughs> you said that so well selena well done um but yeah see you tomorrow just look obviously a little lived in at this point because we've been here for the night oh, guys it's just so gorgeous are you kidding me and then all through here I've made a tip of my room obviously gorgeous bedroom oh, it's so beautiful that's my mom's room so i'll show you but it's very similar and then another stunning bedroom but look at this view we were literally shocked when we got in yesterday Thursday, 52 days until the marathon, and I am just having a beautiful morning. Like, look where I am. This place is called Ando Living. I think it's the Madalena Townhouse. It's so so central, so central. I've been get, I've been asked so many times on Instagram because it is just so beautiful. Like, look at the um, look at the decor. I'm gonna sit in front of the back because that's beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I'm off on a 12k. I don't even know what it is. Is it intervals? Is it tempo? Is it an easy run? I haven't a clue, guys, but I'm just going to go and do it. Um, I'm excited. But you know when you're in a different country and you start to realise how beautiful the world is? Like, not only how beautiful the country that you're in is, but how beautiful the world is and how we just take for granted where we are. Like, it takes for you to be a tourist to realise how beautiful, like, your world is. Do you know what I mean? Because like even when we were here down by the water, you can see you can differentiate the tourists from the locals because the, the locals just aren't taking it all in, which is absolutely just human nature. It's just what we do when we get used to somewhere. But the tourists are all like, like me. Um, so lesson in that is I live in a beautiful country of Ireland and I need to take it in more. But yeah. Um. So I'm gonna go run, then I'll come back have a shower. It's actually quite warm today, and then. See where the world takes us. I think I'm gonna go back to this ramen place that I went to last time called Panda. Best ramen I've ever had in my life. And I was a vegetarian when I went there as well, and they had the best vegetarian ramen ever. I feel like ramen is neglected sometimes.
for vegetarians like ramen can be so average for vegetarians but it was unbelievable so yeah that's the day and guys look at the hills you can't go anywhere without it being so hilly like i obviously knew this but i'm having to change my running route I never usually stop on my runs, but I forgot I'm in Lisbon and it's hot. <laughs> so I got a bottle of water. Guys, that was the first run that I've done since I started my beginner to marathon journey in July that I've walked. Bar the runs where it's like a, like scheduled to walk, like an interval run. Because, you know, with intervals you like run and then you walk for 60 seconds. This was the first run where I walked where I wasn't meant to. And I'm choosing to just be kind to myself because I spent about an hour beating myself up about it because I've actually captured the two out of two times that I've not gone on a run on my YouTube vlogs. I've only made two YouTube vlogs and I've captured both times I haven't gone for my run. And I've also captured the one time I walked on my runs. Every other run that has been scheduled I have done every other run I have not walked during and guys it is absolutely okay to walk during your runs absolutely okay but it is my personal goal it's the only goal I have to finish the marathon and just try my best to run it all no matter how slow I go because 16 year old Selena could not run 100 meters she would die if she knew what I was doing now so that is just my personal goal so I, I found myself like questioning my willpower and like my discipline out there and I was like Selena how about you take in your surroundings you're in Lisbon you're in the sun it's so beautiful you're covering the 10k distance anyway you're out here doing it like just enjoy yourself and like how much more disciplined could I possibly be <laughs> like I have been smashing this training so yeah I'm considering that ticked off I did my run full stop no ifs ands or buts I did my run so yeah just gonna chill i'm gonna edit a video now and then yeah that's that's that guys our new team blank canvases have meaning and should be in that new team or our new team blank canvases are blank canvases full stop good morning you guys it is now 50 days until the london marathon it's also march 2nd and i haven't i didn't vlog much yesterday but i've just been in lisbon we leave today going for a 12k run now and then pretty much packing up and going to the airport um but yeah 12k hopefully it goes a bit better than my run the other day fingers crossed because that was a tough run mentally you know so yeah off I go it's probably gonna be quite cold actually it's only 7 45 a.m 12k done and we figured out the reason I struggled so much through the day with my run is because it's all cobblestones and it's really making my legs tight like my calves um so we were just trying to find like the flattest ground today but I didn't even think to do that the other day because I didn't know that was my problem, you know? But done! These couple stones are killer! I'm home! And I have 26k to run! And I need to just pretend that I'm not scared out of my mind. We had snow while I was gone in Ireland and it looks like a freezing day. And this is my outfit. Okay, so I checked the weather forecast. It says it's three degrees, but it feels like zero. So I put a gilet on, but it's not even that cold. Maybe because I'm directly in the sun. Oh, icy guys. Oh my God. I'm actually in a little bit of a rush though. That's not a good angle. Mm, that's also not a good angle, but hello. Hello. Um, it's going on 9 a.m. and I'm rushing around because I have to meet this girl who I've like met online. <laughs> I've met online. 
<laughs> Too many noises. Um, met her through Runa, actually. I haven't met her in person yet, but we're meeting today. We're actually going to the sauna at... At 1 p.m., guys. 1 p.m. and I'm rushing and it's nearly 9 a.m. That's how long my run is. Um, so I have to go... I have to run 26k and then drive about 20 25 minutes to the sauna um and then i'm actually going to do lemon guys later they actually invited me in saying that as if that's not the coolest thing ever this isn't good i don't have time for this i don't have time for this um <laughs> Ignore that. Um, I'm going in for going in for a fitting. Okay, goodbye. Mwah. Anyway, this little potato head just wanted to say happy 49 days to the marathon, which means seven weeks today, guys. Seven weeks today. Oh my god, Sunday in seven weeks time. I'll be on that start line. Insane, insane, and it'll all have paid off. God, I'm, I'm falling apart this morning. Ah, I'm being blinded. Bye. Can't fault the sky though, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. Packing the old running vest. I have water because I forgot to bring my my water. So I don't have room for all this. I forgot to bring my like Solomon water pouch that I fill at home. So I had to buy one. That just sucks because it's so much bigger. The Solomon ones are like. I don't know how to explain it. Like, this is like hard plastic. They're so soft plastic, so they don't stick out this much. I'm bringing one gel. I've never had a gel. No, that's a lie. I've had a gel. I had a gel years ago when I was doing a trail run. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just whacking back gels. Haven't had one since, so I'm gonna trial it. And then I have like a an electrolyte drink. And then I have jelly babies. And I have my AirPods. Where are these gonna go, though, guys? See, this is the problem with the hard plastic bottles. There's no room to put other stuff. Put it in there. Oh, in there. And then, yeah, my AirPods. So. Ah. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, I need to go. This has been the hardest run of my life. 26K, three hours, 27, 17. This is the end of the vlog. I did my 26K this morning. It was honestly the hardest run of my life. I cried so many times. I was, at one point I was crying for like 20 minutes straight, like with no pause, no pause. And when I cry when I run, because it happens, like this is a thing that happens. When I cry when I run, I start to get all breathless. So I was like, <gasps> the joys the joys of running um yeah and then i met kirsten for a sauna and an ice bath which i didn't realize i was going to be doing it was good don't get me wrong i'm just such a wuss i was like <laughs> i couldn't even get in fully i got halfway in and i've just been to lulu i was in lulu lemon and i met a girl who follows me the girl who was doing my i mean like central town right now and it's kind of hard to drive in sometimes um the girl who was doing my fitting follows me and she told me at the end and i was like oh my god she's so sweet beatrice i love you you are so sweet um well yeah that's the end of my week i really need to have a shower <laughs> and such a terrible angle guys honestly what are we even doing anymore um and go to sleep that's what we need to do and tomorrow tomorrow I'm back to work and back to the gym so yeah Mwah. goodbye like follow share subscribe turn your notifications on and all that okay bye